M0FXB, welcome to my channel. It's not very often you see a radio with three lines of frequencies or memory channels. The only other radio that I know of that does this is the Yaesu FT3, 5 and probably the 2, where, where you add the radio broadcast frequencies and you get a triple display, which always looks really cool. Well, this is a budget radio, Radtail 580, and it does do that, and you can, you know, you can preview your memory channels with the memory names, frequency, VFO mode. But the other thing is, this radio does airband, has Bluetooth where you can actually listen to the Bluetooth. It's not just for programming. Has airband, also covers the police frequencies, probably in the USA. It goes from 108 megahertz. Actually, it also covers broadcast channels. So your, you know, Radio 1, all that kind of stuff, Radio 4 that I listen to. Also, 500 megs, 400 megs, 300 megs, 200 megs, 2 meters and 70 centimeters, IP68 stroke 69. So it's advertised as a, as a waterproof phone. This one, because it has GPS, came with uh, a Bluetooth headset. So when you basically, when you choose the GPS model, you get the Bluetooth headset because it's got Bluetooth as well. And there is a GPS lock. Well, there was just now, now it's gone. But what I can't find is how to view the GPS coordinates. We're going to learn that. Quite a big chunky battery, 3,800, but also USB-C built into the battery, which is what they tend to do nowadays. It's got the NOAA weather channels. Let's press this. We got it earlier, now we can't. <laughs> ah, there we are. And then when I pressed it again, it was the weather channels. NOAA, as they say. They are. Also, it's a 10 watt radio, and of course, we'll be testing that. I'll do a, a dedicated video to testing that. Nice bright LED, sort of symbol on top there, which I'm guessing is like, you know, to sort of look GPS y. I think that's for the reason they did that. And you've got your menus there. Nothing new in the menu, but quite a modern style. When you press, we exit with the red button. It's got a scrambler function, and then you've got mode. And when I, when you press mode, it just scrolls down between the three. If you hold it, it goes to frequency mode, and then hold it again, memory mode, up and down, and then you've got memory. It looks like that's, I haven't done this yet, but it looks like that's a memory write button, because it says F memory write. You probably have to be in memory mode when you do that. So let's go no, in VFO mode. So let's hold that down till it says VFO and then hold memory. No, it looks like we're going to have to learn that. That's okay. No rush. P only a single PTT that I can see. And the headset goes in there. And it's a single. The programming cable is actually single. So that you can program it via via a programming software. I haven't tried Chirp yet. It's quite a new set. So I'm not sure if they'll have Chirp. And that usually when you mess around with these, you hold down buttons for a long time, you discover new functions. That's locked it. Star. Oh, look at that there. And I was wondering when we get a lock where we see it. And did you see that? I held down the star. Copy. Oh, it does the copy channel thing. So that is picking up my node there. So you press it once, I think that's GPS, and you hold it, and you do the frequency copy, and you can store it as well. It's picking up my node straight away. Store there, okay. Back out, let's press, another, let's press and hold another button. Do the reset thing. How do we come out? Let's press that. Let's try the naught. No, that's just typing. You've got the one, if I hold it. No, the, I notice there's a little arrow there for back. DEF default, so is it menu? And then you go DEF. If I hold it, no. All right, well, I thought I'd show you, and it says waterproof interphone. Thanks for watching so far. Bye for now.